Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Jay. How are you doing? Um, I was talking with a friend today and she was saying how she just doesn't have, just doesn't feel like doing anything with her crafting and everything like that. It's kind of like she completely lost her mojo to actually even do anything, to go down to her craft room or do anything. And she said, maybe I should start with doing something new, but what do you think I should do? And I decided that I would help her out and I'm going to do a challenge for her. It's hashtag monthly mojo tags. And all it is, is that on the last Sunday of the month that I'll give her some prompts, she'll create a tag and I'll just get her back to her craft room just doing that. So this is the first tag that we're going to do. It's on the 28th, which is the last Sunday of the month. She'll get it. You'll get you get three prompts that you have to use on your tags. You can do it any way you want. It's up to you. You can be as elaborate as you want or you can be as um, minimal as you want. But if you're feeling like you don't have enough, that you don't have anything and you're not feeling crafty, just get into it. Find something to do. And if you do it, Hashtag it, hashtag monthly mojo tags, and put that in there, and I'll look at them, and we'll all share them across, and everybody can look at everybody's tags and see what you're doing. So let me start with the first one. The first prompts for this month is you have to put a face in there, you have to use flowers, and you have to use a dango. So this is my tag base. And I'm going to cover my tag base with some, with some papers because I like to do that a little bit. Cover it with some papers. So I cut out some papers to make it fast and I want to get it done so she can see how fast it is and that she doesn't have to do a whole bunch. It's not a big stretch to get your tags ready and everybody has tags or tag bases or something like that that they can put their tags on so there it is i got that on there let me see if i can get the hole going again see if i can get my tag in there and get my hole back there we go got the hole back got my girl here so this is the face that i'm using she is a stamp from Rubbernecker Stamps. And Rubbernecker makes really, really nice stamps. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this glue anymore because it's not even coming out. Okay. So I'm going to put my girl on. Put my girl right there. There she goes. And she's at this stamp. Let me show you the stamp. She's this stamp. So her name is Joan, and she's from Rubbernecker. Oops. Something's on there. She's Joan, and she's from Rubbernecker, and the tag and the and the stamp it was $7.90. So if you're looking for that one, that's where you can get it. You know what, Joan? Joan, I set you down there. But I think now, Joan. I might want to prop you up a little bit. I thought about putting her down there, but I think I want to prop her up a little bit with some with some dots, some these. And these um, pops are from the Dollar Tree. I love these things. They're really nice. They hold on pretty good. Really good. And you get a nice roll of them, and it's all for a dollar, so it's not a, it's not bad. But if you want to participate, have something to do, on a, you know, while you're watching TV, get your tags out. First prompt, a face. So here we are, my face. There, I think I like their popped up a little bit. Yeah, there it is. It's a face. The second thing to the tag is after you get your face, you can have some flowers. So I have these flowers from 49 and Market. I think I got these a Tuesday morning. So 
I want to put some flowers on here. Oh, comes with this little thing. Oh, maybe I'll put that on there too. Let's put that on there. So some flowers and whatever else you want to put on your tag. And since this came in the 49 and market um, thing, I think I'll slap that right on there. Make the tag a little interesting. Put that there. Now with the flowers. Flowers. Flowers there. Some of the small ones. 49 in market. They have such beautiful flowers. I love their flowers. They're next to Prima. They're my favorite flowers. Next to the Prima flowers. I think Prima makes really beautiful flowers too. And I think I want to add a little greenery. A little greenery here. This glue is killing me today. Just doesn't want to pop its little self out. Just wants to stay down in there. I might be almost done with this glue. That's probably why. So, want to stick the greenery back there behind her a bit. Like that. A little bit on her shoulder. And I have these small pieces of greenery. Where's my scissors? Oh, there they go. And I want to take that, put some glue on it, stick it down in there. So I got some greenery. I want to cut some of this. Put this down a little bit. So I'm going to use it. So if you have one of these um, 49 and Market kits with the flowers, just use those. And they will make your tag even better because you got everything. Hope that dries clear. Hope it does. Don't, don't do that, Jay. Wait until it dries clear. But if it doesn't, let's stick a flower there in case it doesn't dry clear enough for me. I'll put a flower there. So for the first two tag prompts, I got my face. I got my flowers. Added some other little things there. Put the flowers there. Got my face, I got my flowers. I put that right, right up there, like that. Hope it holds it down there. There, I might need a little on the back of the flower. Let me put a little bit back there to hold it down. So you just get you get three prompts every month. Last Sunday of the month, so the next twenty eighth. Of the month you'll get your next prompt to make your next tag and you'll just be making your monthly mojo tags okay so i got my i got my girl here got my flowers got my face my flowers now i just need to add a dangle and i think i want to put Here's my dangle here. I made this, I made the dangle. So I want to take this, loop it through here. If I can get it, if I can get it to loop through there. Let me try another, let me try another thing here. Let's, 
Let's see if I can loop this through there. Okay, push it through the pencil. Push that through. Like that. So I got that there. And I want to add some of this eyelash trim to go through there too. And I want to put my dangle. through with the eyelash trim. Let's see if I can get it through that hole. That's a big hole. I should be able to pull that through there. Like that. But it's eyelash trim, so it's never going to act quite right. It's because I want it to right now. Let me see. Push to hold this. Let me get that through there. Take my eyelash trim and my pencil and push it through there. Come on, eyelash trim. Go through there. Come on, you could do it for me. There. Okay, so got that, the eyelash trim with my dango. And I want to take that. And put it through the hold also. And I think I put it through backwards. I did. I did. I put it through backwards. Wrong way. Wrong way. Push it through that way because I want my dango to be in the front. So eyelash trim. Scroll through there like that. Come on, you could do it, you could do it. Push that through right there. Have that go up and around. Hang down like that. Tie it off. Trying to tie off eyelash trim is always a problem because you never know where the, the pieces are sometimes. So tie it off. But I like eyelash trim. I think it's so, so cute when you get it on there right. Okay. Tie it again so I can get some stuff to it. Now I want to cut this one. So there's my dango, my ribbon, my dango, my, oh, eyelash trim, trim, you give me a little trim. So there's my dango, my eyelash trim, and my flowers. So there you are, the first tag from the monthly mojo tags. So if you're going to join me, and please do join. Um, monthly Mojo Tags. Three prompts. Three prompts. Every month. 28th of the month, you'll get your prompt. Or last Sunday of the month, you'll get your prompt. And you'll get three items that you must include on your tag. And this is my first tag. For the Monthly Mojo. For the Monthly Mojo. Hashtag monthly mojo tags. And first prompt. First prompt is a face. Some flowers. And a dango. And hashtag monthly mojo tags. I'll see you next month. Please join. Love to see what your tags are and what you do with the three items and how you do it. I, I'm i loving my tag here. I'm thinking it came out really good, really pretty. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you'll join. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. Oh, and don't forget to like this video. 
keep forgetting to say that. Don't forget to like this video. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, press that subscribe button. Join the monthly mojo tags. It just takes you a few minutes to get that done. I think this was less than 15 minutes to get that done. Pretty tag. And I'm going to put all mine in a collection book. And I'll probably make a book on, once I get a few of them made, I'll make a book. And you'll see what they look like. I also made a... um. I also made another tag. It didn't have anything to do with Monthly Mojo, but I was trying to tie, see how quick I could make a tag, and, and that one came out pretty nice too. So tags are good to make just to keep yourself, if you're feeling like you don't want to do anything, make some tags and join me on my Monthly Mojo tags. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.